Okay, so I said yesterday that I hadn't actually talked anything down. Um, so that's what I'm just going to do now. I've got the manual out. Um, and uh, I have got myself a set of feeler gauges. First thing to do is just to talk the uh, s cylinder head uh, bolts, studs, whatever you want to call them, in. Now these are really lightly and you don't really need, I mean, frankly, I just did them by hand. Um, before but it's just a very light touch torque rating is really um, low on these it doesn't really require very much it's, uh, half a kilogram uh, meter there we go So I'm just going to do that on all of these. Right, cylinder head nuts, our initial tightening of one kilogram meter followed by two and a half. Where's the kilogram meters? Again, not really very much. Right, that's it for talking the head down. Um, it's, as you can see, really lightly talked. Um, now I want to set the uh, valve guides and I'll do the uh, talking on the other head um, off camera. Right, um, rocker valve clearances. The way this works is that um, you rotate the engine until a valve is fully open. So let's just set that fully open. And we come round to the inlet valve. On this side and the gap should be between 0.15 to 0.20 okay I can just get a 0.15 through there type fit so that one's 
dead on. So, let's rotate this. Exhaust valve is now completely open. And I can't quite get that in there, so uh, I can't quite get the point two in there. So it's within the spec, um, no point adjusting it. Okay. Valve fully open. These fit on the fifteen point two won't quite just about go in there, so that's right. Open. Loose fit there. Oh, yeah. That's a bit of a loose fit. So, so we have one valve. And it actually needs adjusting. So, 10mm spanner. Screwdriver, so just put it tight. So just want to tighten it up, so we should be pushing this in. Okay, just tight there, should feel okay on that side, so that should be perfect. Get that back in, 15's in, 2 is just in sight. That's it, job done. Really simple and easy to do on these. So now we're done with the cylinder heads. So we can uh, put the covers back on and uh, pretty much for the last time.
right now before I put the engine away um, we'll move on to the next stage do need to do a couple of bits of painting on it um, but uh, first things first let's get these uh, plugs swapped out not in bad condition plug gap is 0.6 Slightly closed up. Oh, at least the standard plug gap is 0.6. So let's see what these uh, ones are like. Uh, a little bit uh, off. Have I even got a tool that will? Like it. Right, steel plugs into alloy heads, the uh, usual procedure. Out my brass screws, exhaust studs. That's what I remember.
I was going to replace the oil filter, but uh, um, I've just put, put that away. But so uh, while I'm here. Drain plug. No, that's okay. Okay, I've put, I didn't dig my oil, new oil filter out, so I'll leave that to another time. Okay, that's it for the engine. Time to put that away and move on to the next job.